I'm here with Mike Iaconelli, and our first stop on the 2020 schedule is Lake Seminole out of Bainbridge, Georgia. Now, this should be a pretty awesome pre-spawn opportunity for our anglers. Mike, what would you tell them about Lake Seminole, especially that early in the year? Lake Seminole, what are, what are the dates? What are we talking February about? February 1st and 2nd. Oh, God, okay. February 1st and 2nd, Lake Seminole, definitely pre-spawn, borderline still winter pattern, right? Um, the great news about Seminole pre-spawn and winter, the biggest fish of the year, the fattest fish of the year, full of row, uh, I'd actually love to fish that one. I'm, I'm going to have to look at my calendar because I like to fish that one. The fishing's going to be really good. Um, a lot of it's going to revolve around staging fish. You know, the water temperature is going to be cold. It's going to be anywhere from, you know, the low 50s to the upper 50s. Fish are wanting to go to the places they're going to spawn. They don't make one quick movement, right? They stop in places on the way. Uh, grass lines. You're going to hear a lot about that in this event. Outside grass lines. Ditches is another big thing. Seminoles loaded with ditches. And what the ditches are is they're basically old little creeks, old little depressions that run and traverse those flats. That's the highway for the fish traveling. Um, so, you know, uh, outside grass lines, ditches are gonna be two key factors. The other one is, is hard cover. You know, it's got a ton of docks. It's got a ton of standing timber. If the fish are more in their winter pattern, that'd be a great place to catch them. If I can give you three baits, I already just predicting it, rattle trap. You know, a half or three quarter ounce lipless bait is gonna be dominant. Uh, vibration jig, chatterbait style lure is going to be another one that's key. It's going to be real dominant. Um, but don't count out, uh, you know, a finesse bait in that one too. If you guys encounter some cold weather, a cold front, mm -hmm. never count out a little finesse rig. A drop shot or a shaky head can catch some big fish as well. So that sounds like a good one, man. So you, you think that uh, anglers could potentially catch a, you know, personal bass trophy style fish at this particular event? I can tell you this, in my history of bass fishing, um, I've only caught a 30 plus pound bag of five fish once in my life in other than the state of Texas. And it's come from Lake Seminole. All the other times have been from the state of Texas. So 30 pound bags are possible. You're talking about six, seven, eight pound fish. That time of the year, very, very possible. Mm. That sounds like a lot of fun. Make sure you get registered for that event on Lake Seminole, February 1st and 2nd. It's the first national kayak event to land in Bainbridge, Georgia. I know they're excited to have us and we're excited to be there.